Hey, this is Dr. Letitia Wright. I'm host of A Crowdfunded Life and The Right Place television show. I just got back from the Los Angeles Urban League where I was teaching crowdfunding to youth entrepreneurs. We had a really great time. This is some of the jewelry I bought. The entrepreneurs are out there selling. And I also got my first sponsor for A Crowdfunded Life from a youth entrepreneur. So you'll see their commercial uh, really quickly. Okay, so here's the uh, couple of questions we had come in. One person asked me to talk a little bit more about the Jobs Act. The Jobs Act was signed into law in April of this year. And inside the Jobs Act, there's a lot of other things going on, but crowdfunding was one of the things that was set up so that you could raise money to buy shares of a business online, which you could not do previously. So the crowd equity part of crowdfunding in the crowd, in the Jobs Act is the important part. It is now with the SEC, and at the beginning of the year, we should actually have some great, um, you know, rules and regulations and clarity about what's going to happen with crowd equity. So that's what's about the Job uh, Funding Act. And then I had another question about how much does it cost or how much is it going to cost to do uh, a crowd equity campaign. And a lot of people are really confused about pricing and all the kind of things. You will have to use special websites that are endorsed by the federal government and you will have to, um, you'll have to pay those sites. So you're looking at anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars before you can really, you know, have them work on your case and, and get it all ready. They do all the work for you. They have the accountants, they set up the web page, they set up everything for you. But it's gonna be quite a bit of investment. But so those of you that are thinking about buying shares of or selling shares of your company via crowd equity. It is not a free or nor inexpensive uh, uh, opportunity. It does take money to take care of that. Okay, I've got a few more um, news items for you, but first, a break. Uh, this is my first uh, sponsor for a crowdfunded life. Okay, hey, we're back from that. Thank you so much. Our first youth, uh, our first youth golf apparel company. This guy, little guy, is a designer. He's got the clothes designed. He's got the shirts designed. Uh, definitely going to hear from him in the future. And then I want to tell you about the National Crowdfunding Association is starting a veterans campaign, CAV, and they want veterans to come home and start businesses and offer jobs. So they want to go beyond just hiring veterans. They want to create a veterans crowdfunding campaign to help veterans start their own business and educate them. So that'll be developing. I'm not sure about all the parameters of that yet, but that'll be developing. They just announced that. So veterans will be able to get into the act with some very, very special things set up for them. All right. It's been great to see you. Tune in next week. We've got some great interviews coming up and some more crowdfunding tips. So remember, ignoring one's conscience is neither safe nor right. Now, see you next time.